We're back with Jeannie Pippen, Director of Volunteers at BreastLink and a 26-year survivor. Jeannie, welcome to the show. Welcome. Wow. I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> Tell us about that journey. Okay, I will. <laughs> um, it happened to be two days before our 40th wedding anniversary. Okay. And I went to Dr. West and uh, <clears throat> I uh, found out that my husband had planned a, a golf weekend for us mm -hmm. at a real nice a golf resort. And he was going to surprise me, but uh, he ended up telling me because of the bad news. And uh, so we went on the weekend, and what he had done was buy me a set of new irons. Mm -hmm. And so when I would play golf, or dress the iron, tears just rolled down my cheek mm -hmm. because I felt why did he spend all this money and I'm not going to be alive to use them? Now, who, how did, to, who told you or how did you come to find out that you had breast cancer? I went to my gynecologist and then he sent me to Dr. West. Okay, yeah. so you hold a special place because you were Wrestling's first patient, correct? Yeah, right. Wow, <laughs> okay. Okay, sure. so... Um, Anyway, I went through, um, back in those days, they didn't do immediate reconstruction, so um, I had the mastectomy, and 10 months later, I had the uh, reconstruction. And um, at that time, um, I was before the first breast care center opened, about two months I was diagnosed. Mm -hmm. And what they had found out that most of the patients wanted was somebody to talk to that had gone through it. Mm -hmm. So I was the first person they gave a, a, a support person to. Wow. And um, so I'm still friends with her. She moved up north, but we are still friends and communicate. Mm -hmm. But also, um, I was, before breast cancer, I was a very shy, kind of introvert type person. I wouldn't even notice that, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I notice that. That's what changed me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so this support person, we would meet for lunch for mm -hmm. uh, sometimes, and it took me three lunches to even ask her if I would make a good volunteer. Wow. wow. And her words were, you would be fantastic. So that was all I needed. So uh, I also volunteered uh, for seven months. I volunteered three days a week, eight hours a day, which was unusual for a volunteer. Was this why you were still going under treatment, or no, where were you? This was over. Okay, so this was afterwards. Over. Okay. And uh, so then they offered me the job of director. Wow! Oh, so you got a job wow. out the deal. Yeah. Look at that. 